I have a favorite story about this, which was numinous when I heard it, and I often tell it. Okay, it's the story of um, Yasha Heifetz, who was a, a maestro musician, a violinist, right, in the mid-20th century. And Heifetz had a student, and the student um, had a problem because his family had a business, and when his father died, his family wanted to take him, wanted him to take over the family business. But he was obviously quite a good musician because he was taking violin lessons from Yasha Heifetz, who was like the best violinist in the 20th century. <laughs> and uh, so he goes to the maestro and he says, "Well, maestro, I want to, I want to play for you." And I want you to tell me whether I have a future at, in a concert career as a musician or whether I should just go into business, into my family business. And Yasha Heifetz says, very well, play for me. And so, so the guy plays the Lark Ascending. Okay, I, I don't know if you know that piece, but the Lark Ascending is an amazing um, violin piece. And um, at the end of it, Heifetz says, well, you don't have the fire. You don't have the fire. And so the guy is very dejected, of course, but he goes off into business and he has a successful business career. And, he, and 20 years later, he's, uh, the maestro is having a concert in his city so he goes to the concert and afterward he goes backstage and um, there's this big reunion with the maestro and and then the maestro said uh, well what have you done with your life and the guy said well you know I went into business but you know it's really I really feel like I missed something um, when I gave up the violin and, and Heifetz says oh Oh my God, you gave up the violin. How could you do that? He says, you played so beautifully. You know, and, and the guy, and, 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 the, and the guy says, but maestro, maestro, you said I didn't have the fire. And Heifetz says, well, I must have been right, because if you had had the fire, you would have paid no attention to me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's really this lesson, isn't it? Really. Um, which is that if you're meant to be something, you're going to be it. Right? And I think some people position themselves so that they can filter students that way, or so that they can discourage them, and the ones that rise up in spite of it, they the challenge and yeah. they, just, they want to see who's got the fire. Right. But that, you know, that was always a numinous story to me. I mean, I must have heard that story 40 years ago, and I've probably told it 300 times over the years because it's very powerful. But, it really makes you think. Yeah, and meanwhile, I mean, it's right back to this archetype, isn't it? It's right back to the Job archetype.